Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macrum. Uh, really quickly, before I get started, um, I think we're almost done, according to somebody in the comment section. That's number one. Number two, um, I can't play God of War next because um, I already played that. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was feeling down one day. I didn't feel like talking to anybody. I didn't feel like doing anything. Um, so I just, I never, I never opened up God of War. I opened it up. And I beat it, the main game in like two days. So that's it's a fantastic game. Right up there with Red Dead Two for me. Um, yeah, that's not next. I don't know what's next. I'm not sure if anything is next. I don't really have time to play video games unless I get depressed. In which case, I flew through it. I swear, I flew through it in two days. I played for like ten hours a day. Actually, more than that, fifteen a day. It was done. Love the twists. Love the game. Love the new Kratos. Love the new voice. Um, love the kid. Love the villain, love the side characters. Mamir is my favorite video, one of my one of my favorite video game characters ever. But yeah, that's not happening. So we gotta finish Red Dead. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Uh, if we do something next, I played all the God Awards, so don't say we'll play one, two, and three. We've done that. Um, maybe The Last of Us. Maybe the Avengers game, which comes out. Maybe we'll wait for the PS5. Or Xbox, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> I'll get both, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get to it. Testaments. Okay. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest, though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack, I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. Aww. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. Huh. That way it's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry him. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate Sweet. gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them. They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there! All right, all right. Go on! Scat! Shh. I love that. Am I killing all these crows? Where am I going? Am I just killing a bunch of these things? Killing crows, I don't even know. They just like fucking get rid of them. I scared them out, now what? A shotgun? Why are they shotgun? John, come on now. What are we doing? 
little bit of common sense here. Jesus, really? Who should have given me a number I had to kill? I'm shooting all fucking day. Finally. Now about that stew. Jesus. Let's see what Jack's doing. Being fucking worthless, reading a book or something. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why do you leave? Is that a shooting? I bet. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarlane. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. Weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. I thought you were learning to read. You read that thing out loud? I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family. China's so whipped. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Uh, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. I thought we were going to bring her with. Thank God. John, wait! Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. <laughs> Well, come on, man. Let's get going. I don't think I can. 
wouldn't let you go off again without me. Fair enough. It's sweet. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the board. Oh, while well, you were off reporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This phony Miss Farley. No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes. Mouth. No. That kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom from John Martin. It's kind of deep, though. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. Seriously. I ain't Especially yeah, considering your fucking form of uh, you position. You what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most of them have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to be visiting unannounced. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there were really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but Dutch went crazy. Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we found something right. Better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew Several the truth, times. John. And they hated you for it. Hey. Just touch. Where did they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. No. They learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. That was exciting goal of it. Hey, thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise. Thank you for saving my husband's life. And for teaching the miserable goats manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weak saddle sore, ain't he, Miss McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. That was sweet. I don't take a thought of that, but... Jesus, this is depressing. Ma'am? That was her, all right. 
Sick of teenage Jack. I like the young Jack. Teenage Jack, he can die slow. We did good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. anymore get up old man I, I am up <laughs> get up uh, oh. there I'm up well, thank the good Lord you're back nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun Going to long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard, nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Yeah. 
All right, you stay front. How far are we going? Yeah. Let's keep it moving now. Hey. Be in front, stupid. Uncle Stinks. Ouch, you dumb cunt. Now what? Move it up. Oh. Yeah. This pasture looks over great. Let's take him out to the plane. Yeah, we're trying to build a better life for Jack and yada yada yada. That does not mean this shit is fun. You know what's fun? Shooting people. Wake up! These horses and these fucking cows stink.
What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things. Aww, that was kind of sweet. It's most likely Jack has been in, uh... Since he's been kicked, we'll say. Please take your time, I'm not in a fucking rush. Alright, now stay close to the dog, son. I love that. Come on. Okay. That's this fucking dog, Jesus. Yeah! When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Are you ready for this? I guess so. Good. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee! Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. Jack, he's on to something. Come on. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Whoa. Come on, boy! Come 
Find him, Rufus. Keep going, boy. Shooting things, I just not kill them. Damn. Come on. So how I cut me, Jack. Good job. Now it's your turn. You got two of them. I only got one. Outside of the fact that Jackson Moore, and I was about to give him some props. The fact that he seems kind of like a savage, quite frankly. Now come on, let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Talk. I want to hear what you have to say. I haven't killed a horse in this game yet. I mean, Let's go. I haven't killed my horse in this game yet. Yeah, he manages to do it off camera with no threats of any kind around him. Alright, here we are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Jesus, this horse is fucking cold. Hello, sir. What do you have? And here we are. Huh? Enjoy the journey. Bye. I hear more folks now know John Marston than the president. There you go. There was a shootout by the Aurora Learn something new every day. All done. Let's head home. Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. <laughs> and what about me? What do I get? You 
get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That ain't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. I'll be rich one day, then you'll see. I sure hope so. Then you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Oh, yeah. shit. Preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. So, you enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Bob. Herding cows, hunting elk, growing up. Proud of it. Why are you stopping? I want to hear the story, stupid. Easy. in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. This shit's about to go left. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uncle or Jack, or Jack's playing right fucking here. Tense enough. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. I'd like this guy. The wolves been after the herd. Gotta get out there and scare him off. You wanna come with me? Safer with two. Okay. He does even look like a little even soul though now. Come on! The dog will soon sniff him out. This dog literally does all our fucking work for us. Go! Why you gotta treat me like a kid? It's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. You're a good man, fucking John. Your son's a little asshole. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. Yes, he does. Shut up. Be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but it seems they can't. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. <laughs> What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Come on, he's picked up a scent. You can't be tired already. Follow me! Come on! No! Keep up. Yeah! Go oh. on, Rufus! Fucking, um... You ought to shoot, why do you stink at it? Go on, Rufus! Whoa there! Let's go! You can find him, Rufus! Wait! Let me catch up! Nope. Whoa there! Watch your move, dummy. Come on. Watch yourself now, son.
right in the face. You can read and write. 
Don't waste your life, son. Don't live like I had to. Hello, John. All right. Come on. Not like Arthur, but a lot. into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. I was going to do Uncle, but Jack's right here, though. Do that. I hope we're not hurting anything. The bear, right? You want to hunt a bear? I kill a bear by myself. John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunt and got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kicked Holy in on a grizzly shit. thing lead him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. What's he supposed to do? He told you about it, he tried to stop him. What do you want? Let's go. Where are we going? Oh. Phone the dog again? I love that. This dog is the MVP of the family. Where is he, Rufus? Oh, I'm with you. Alright. Don't worry about no. me. Where is the boy? I never liked you. Let's go. 
Find Jack, Rufus. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking going off on your own? You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. I better fucked him up. Good. Wish you could have saw it. Hey, hurry up, are you gonna walk, stupid? Now hold tight. Come on. You all right? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What'd I tell you about going off by yourself? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. I want to put back the again. I want to empathize and understand the situation. Go! What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance Jesus to you anyway. Christ. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. Should I have short-term memory loss? Because we have the same conversations over and over again. Like on the same ride. I'm sorry. You don't love me. I'm sorry. I'm just a nuisance anyway. Jesus. Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad thing. Things nobody should do. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you have. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. It's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. You think I don't know what you did back in the old days? I'm not stupid. You could have fooled me. You think I didn't sit up and listen to Dutch Bill telling all those stories? You think I don't know who you are? It ain't no secret I didn't get these scars falling over in church. But nobody tells me anything. You and Mom pretend like nothing happened. We just want a better life for you, son. Now rest. We'll have you home soon. I want to hear the story. I can join that part. When you stop whining and you got to this point. I 
I'm sorry I made you worry, Pa. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. Some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Uh, Are you gonna mount up, kid? You racing me? Maybe. Shit, hey! That'd be. Hey. Come on, follow me! Come on! Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened to you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on. Get old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. <laughs> I see him. Come on. What are we doing? Oh, we're just my horse? I hate this shit so much. So much. So fucking much. Calm it down. Relax now. Nearly there. Ah. There you go. Jesus, how long is it gonna take? Come on, come on. You got him now, John. Shut the hell up. Around and get back on your horse. Another one? Oh, Jesus! Hobble your lips, for Christ's sake! Oh, God. Have a seat. Come on. Oh, down. Come on. 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 Come Get us another 
fucking out. Oh, you got a straggler. Shall be destroyed. That sounds badass as shit. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Uh, no, sir. I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother we'll do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. You just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can <laughs> even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stopped shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here. John, come here, quick. Uh-oh. Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. I'm not looking at it. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, 
Looks like things is about to get old settled friends. for all. We don't have any fucking old Nobody friends. Seems. They're all dead. Christ, Micah? Come on, old man. That'd be cool if he wasn't dead. Need you to help me. Come Jesus. Now. Shit. Come I can't on. see shit with the guy.
Anyhow, you take Jack and Abby, <laughs> take them and <coughs> don't worry about me. Jesus, get him out of here. They killed Uncle. No, Uncle, please. Oh my god, they killed him. Come on, son. Ain't nothing we can do for him now. Jesus Christ. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there. Aww. This is all sweet. There you go. That <laughs> door's off the hinge. Where am I going? We'll make a run for the floor. Stay Jesus. close. Keep your eyes open. Where is shooting from? Oh, up on the hill. I see him. Get yeah, on something. Jesus fucking Christ.
This is insane. Hey. Come on. Now listen. Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. How calm John is to all this? John's such a gangster. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! And they both got shot in the face. Jesus. Oh, fuck you. Can we get some answers first, at least? Shot Ross. <sighs> Jesus. Is that how we end the fucking game? That's kind of trash. No offense. I get it. Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! What? Seriously? That is a terrible fucking idea. What is this? 
Oh, is that Jack? That's Sean's hat. That looks nothing like him. Shit. What the fuck happened to Abigail? She died three years later? She died of a broken heart? What? 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 You guys said that, uh, what'd you say? The final mission wasn't, um, it was a stranger mission. Okay, how do I get to it? I thought you meant John. Apparently you meant with Jack. Oh, what? Jesus. I can't see shit. Um, guess we'll just do all of them, huh? I had things to do today. Work it in, man. Oh, oh, that voice is horrific. still sounds like fucking Jack. He looks like a badass though. And I am now convinced that this is in fact John's kid. He looks just fucking like him. Come on, come on. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know who's cooler between uh, John and Arthur. I know Jack is the least cool. That voice is horrific. It's fucking Let's horrific. Go. Let's go. They really killed John. No explanation why. I knew shit wouldn't go well. I just figured they'd continue to abuse him. Because if you need a fucking uh, gunslinger to do shit that you don't want to get caught. Like a suicide squad, sort of. That's so fucked. That's so fucked. Don't shoot me. I'm gonna die here. Not holding. Alright, this is annoying. I'm getting annoyed. Just wanna continue the story. I don't know why he ran up on me. Did I bump him or something? lady, I know that much. It's not nice camera action. I don't think it's the wrong woman, unless it's Abigail, so to speak. Um, funny man, I don't think so. 
poppycock, certainly not. Even Pearl, no. Maybe. Alright, so it's one of those two. This horse, my Mustang. I have a Mustang, I'm not sure what the fuck it is. It's a, a stallion. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good day, three years later, at whatever the fuck age she is, about 40. the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if he wanted results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. It's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. I'll be about to go try to kill Ross. Go find Edgar Ross's wife? First of all, that's dark. Not these days. Uh, but all right, sure. What's this, bounty? Ain't doing a bounty. We have, we're out for one thing and one thing only. Where do you think? I totally forgot, I forgot already. Uh, lake Don Julio. Where's that at? I'm assuming it's near a lake. There you go. Woo! Remember my family. Let's go! You know, we're going to take a stagecoach because we want to get there fucking quick, fast, and in a goddamn hurry. Unless I'm going to be able to take it then. Right, yes. Yes, I would, actually. Of course, no problem. To my waypoint, sir. Get me to chill off the train. Wanna catch up on some sleep? I'll wait until we get there. I'm gonna get some rest. They killed John? Oh. I, I took way better than Arthur. I feel like That's the luck, my friend. Love Arthur. I like John. Oh, Jesus. I don't get blamed for that. You know what's crazy? He looks pretty cool. Jack does. Yeah. He still sounds ridiculous. Damn woman making all that fucking noise. 
I'm not saying you wouldn't scream if fucking a wolf was on your ass. I'm just saying he legitimately sounded cool. Whoa! I don't even kill his wife. I don't want to kill his wife. Unless she's a piece of garbage. Which is possible you married that guy. Yep. Just passing through. She's not home. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. <laughs> we'll, find the we'll find the Ross brothers, okay? Yeah, of course. Alright. I totally forgot the river they said. Oh, Jesus. Is there a stagecoach in here? I never know if it'll take it to fucking Mexico. John, this is fucking preposterous. Is he part of my mission? He isn't, so no. Fuck that. He is not part of the mission. The mission is fucking simple. Killing Edgar Ross.
They didn't really make you work for this shit. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm not hearing a word anybody say. They are not part of the mission. They are not part of the goal. The goal is fucking simple. See, see, we're in truth. God's wagon? Well, that's a shame. It also has nothing to do with me, good buddy. What did I say? We have one reason and one reason fucking only. Oh! What brings you out this way? That's brother. I don't give a fuck! Hey there, mister. How's the hunt? Well, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts with his wife. I I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river, duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. That he does. Okay. I thought this letter was important. All right, where am I going? Oh, I can walk. Cool. Are we even gonna wait? Should we should just blow his fucking brains out right away. I gotta talk to him first, I assume. I'm gonna try not to kill him until all the dialogue's finished. Maybe he'll get the best of me. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I Jack, kill you. Jack, what well. are we doing? I ain't going nowhere, old man. Look at that. We don't want to kill him like a coward. We got to do this like a fucking good old version. Oh, shit. You know I suck at this. I remember, I let go. Shit. Oh, this is a tutorial. Cool. I don't remember how to do it. Use your gun. Pull back. Mm. Uh, John? That was a high powered pistol, right? Ha 
<laughs> That's pretty cool. That's a good goddamn ending. Wow, I like that. I like that finish. All right, I'm sorry it's so goddamn dark in here. Uh, it's nighttime. Um, I'm gonna need some silence, good buddy. I like that game. I like that game a lot. It to me, it's the it's the uh, Dr. J to Michael Jordan. It's the first. I laid the groundwork for the high flying and all that, but it's it's not the best. Red Dead Two is better in almost every way to me. Um, from the protagonist, I'm taking Arthur by a little bit. To the follow protagonist, I'm taking John by a lot or Jack. Even though I haven't really played with Jack, only real quick. But come on, come on now, that voice. But he killed Ross, which counts for a lot. I do like the story. Um, it's very, uh, I don't want to say backloaded. Front's a little slow, then it picks up a lot towards the uh, middle of it. Then after we kill Dutch, well, Dutch killed himself, it kind of tails off again until the finale. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Not Red Dead 2 though. Part of it's because of the mechanics. Certain things they just fixed, like with the horses, for example, you bumping other people. Um, I would have liked the next picture from Ross, outside of uh, fucking uh, clearing up loose ends. Why not use John as a guy? Let's see, two unruly, this then third. What the fuck happened to Abigail? Um, that was fun. Did he wait for Abigail to die before he fucking decided to do this? It feels like that was a significant part of it. I'm here for it. Go ahead, Jack. Came through, huh? Um, one has got to be imagined. One's got to imagine after the success of Red Dead Two, it's going to be Red Dead Three. I don't know what I want from it. Uh, I heard somebody say Young Hosea. Um, somebody said Landon Ricketts. Uh, maybe young Arthur, just coming into the gang. <sighs> young Dutch, I'm okay with all that. I just want another one, and I want it immediately. But anyway, I don't know what we're doing next. You'll have to see. I'll have to see, I don't know. Post your comments, though, down below. Like, share, subscribe.